Are you buying into Mackenzie Gore? Yeah, why not? Uh, look, I mean, he was, if you remember, and I know you do, because this was in 2017 when he was the third pick overall uh, at a Whiteville, North Carolina high school. And, uh, yeah, you know what? The first thing I remember, I might have even done a breakdown of that, that draft, was immediately it was like, whoa, look at his leg kick and very similar to Clayton Kershaw. So he got in a spot, and Yonder, I can't wait for you to chime in here, is that kind of lost the command, the control and being able to put it where you want. And then you start reeling and you start doubting and you get in this place, you're like, man, can I throw strikes? So for him to come back, I know it's 10 to third innings. I know it's two, only two starts, but he's 174 going into tonight's game. Um, you know, keep the walks down. His velocity up to 98 yonder. I know the velo had dropped some. He's mostly fastball curveball, but they're, the Padres are looking at this going, wait a minute, if he's 95 to 98, we got something here with a curveball. If we can get him to have a set another secondary pitch, we're good. Yeah, and I got to give a lot of credit to AJ Perler because he was patient with him. You know, at times this guy couldn't couldn't find the strike zone at all, and they tried with him many different things. Look, I faced him in the backfields; it wasn't fun at all. The stuff is there, but I think for him this year it was in between his head, and he finally figured it out. He understands that that fastball plays, and that slider is disgusting.